It's a new year. And many people like to use the momentum of a new year to create a new habit, to learn a new skill, to let go of something that hasn't been helping them to heal something in their body or in their thinking. And as we all know, it's very hard to sustain the momentum to make these changes, to have new habits. One of my sisters sent me an article from the Wall Street Journal that talked about how we learn. That learning and being a beginner at something is really hard. During 2020, many people learned new things. They learned a new skill. They deepened a skill they knew. And many reluctantly had to learn computer skills in order to continue to see their clients, in order to continue their work, to connect with family, with friends, to feel connected, and in some cases, even to order their groceries. And learning this new skill was very tedious and continues to be for many. The article was talking about how learning is not a linear thing. There's starts and stops. There was a study done about how babies learn to walk. They spend a third of each day for approximately six months to learn how to walk with so many failures of falling down time and time again and getting up and starting in a new way to keep trying to learn a new way so they reach the skill of being able to walk, always going to their edge of what they've learned to continue to learn and become better at it and not reaching a real comfort level for years. As adults, same thing. It's sometimes even harder to continue. And yet learning includes failing multiple times. Being comfortable with failing to be able to continue to learn is challenging. Maybe you can think of something now, if you'd like, that we could tap along with that you want to change in the new year, either something you want to heal physically, relationship-wise, in a new skill you want to learn and something you want to improve in your business or personal life. And I'd like you to think about the part of you that doesn't believe it's really possible, either consciously or just beneath consciousness. And measure that. How much you do not believe it's possible? 10 would be, it's not even worth it to try. And the lower numbers would be, that you're totally willing to allow failure multiple times and not be an expert, be a beginner. Once you've done that, you could also check into your body and feel where that disbelief might be, what discomfort you have in your body. And remember, this is not a logical thing. This is just in your imagination. Where do you feel it? in your hands, in your eyes, shoulders, stomach, feet, anywhere. There's, there's no rule to this. And you might measure the degree of discomfort you have as well. So tap along with me. Feel the in, in intensity as strongly as you can while still taking care of yourself emotionally. Make sure your hands are clean because we'll be tapping on the face. Tap on yourself and repeat after me. Use my words. If you feel more comfortable using your own words, by all means do that. And let's begin on the side of the hand. Either hand is fine. Even though I don't really believe I could learn this new thing. I'd like to deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though actually learning this new thing and overcoming being a beginner feels really hard. I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though it's hard to make these changes and I'm not looking forward to failing multiple times on the way, 
I choose to go forward anyway and accept myself along the way. I don't know if I can. Sailing is such a loaded experience. It makes me feel like I am a failure and I don't like that feeling. I, w I don't think I can. I, I don't know if I can. It's really hard to continue trying at something when I keep failing at it. It's hard to learn new things. It's hard to learn a new skill, to heal something that hasn't been healed before. It's so hard to think of something in the past changing. What if it's possible? What if I could remember that failing is part of the process? What if I am okay failing, knowing that's normal with learning something new? What if I could remember that learning a new skill is very healthy for my brain and my body? What if I could remember that it's okay to be a beginner? What if I can allow myself to continue even when it's difficult and rough? Maybe it's possible. Maybe I really can do this. I choose to release the belief that failing is a problem. I choose to believe that failing actually is the process of learning. I choose to remember that learning and being a beginner is good health for my brain and my body. I choose to remember it's cool to learn a new skill, even as a beginner. Being okay with being a beginner. Even being proud when I don't do a good job because I love to learn. And I know that learning is good for me and helpful. And ultimately I'm learning something I want to learn. I choose to feel better about the process of learning with the ups and downs of it. And to know I have learned at least one difficult thing and I can learn more difficult things too. Take your breath, release it, and remember your disbelief and see if that number has reduced. Check in with your body, see if that discomfort that you felt in your body is a little bit lighter. This is something you can do over and over again. Follow along with this recording and practice it as you go through the process of learning that is beneficial in so many ways, physically, emotionally, mentally. I don't know if you all know that I post one of these videos weekly on YouTube, as well as on my website, SuzanneAlfandary.com on LinkedIn and, and Facebook. You can follow along with any of the videos with things that you want to change. Also, if you reach a point that you're stuck and you want professional help, definitely reach out for that. I'm one of the people you could reach out to. If I could help you individually or with consultation or training, both EFT tapping and motivational interviewing MI, please reach me and I'll be delighted to hear from you. Thank you for
trying this. And I wish you all a very happy, a healthy new year. Thank you.